Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Pages Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduk, and this is tip number 199, configuring multi-step forms in the studio. While the ability to add a form, previously known as basic forms or entity forms, to a page has existed in the studio since the Power App Portals days, using a multi-step form, also known as advanced forms or web forms, has not been possible. That is, until recently, when Microsoft added new functionality to allow users to create multi-step forms directly in the Power Pages Studio. When creating a multi-step form, or editing an existing one, users are able to control features like whether or not to show the progress indicator, allowing multiple entries per person, what to do on submit, and CAPTCHA. Then, users are able to add steps to the form, including picking the table and form, and other settings like attachments. Similar to what was discussed in tip number 198 for the single step forms, users can edit field settings like labels, descriptions, and validation on the form itself. Once steps are added, users can reorder them. Users can also update settings related to the progress indicator, if applicable. Multi-step forms in Power Pages offer a lot of functionality and what is currently available in the studio just scratches the surface. You'll still need to go over to the portal management app to do things like conditional steps, action buttons, and more complex metadata. I expect Microsoft to continue to expand on the currently available features, reducing the need to go over to the portal management app more and more. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Pages tip number 199 on configuring multi-step forms in the studio useful.